Welcome to Blackpool. It's the glamour of life on the road. Ironing my shirt on an Action Man dimensioned ironing board at the Golden Sands Bed and Breakfast here in Blackpool. A knife edge Labour Conservative marginal where we're going to be watching the big leaders debate. The Golden Sands is run by Delwyn and Sylvia Hines. They've been in the hotel trade since the 60s and lived in Florida for 14 years. Politically, they're roughly Britain's equivalent of Reagan Democrats. I came up from South Wales, from the mining valleys. Well, I voted Labour all my life because of my background. And I voted Conservative on that one occasion. Uh, in I think it was 79. Um, I, I was probably like the, the rest of the population looking for a change from that particular Labour government at the time. Margaret was very um, strong, very strong leader for a lady. That's why they call her the Iron Lady. You know, I just think she was determined to do what she set out to do and I admire her for that. Since then, I've gone back to my uh, voting roots, as it were. But now I'm looking... I'm more looking more at the issues than I did in the past. Seeing parallels between 2010 and 1979, Sylvia and Delwyn are open to some of David Cameron's messages. I see the Labour Party and Gordon Brown trying to dig themselves out of the many holes that they've been in, obviously including the economy, the banking crisis, health, law and order, Afghanistan. And I see David Cameron coming across as a a bit of a posh smoothie who's going to cure it all at a stroke. He seems a family man and, you know, he's, he seems to be interested in, in families. I just think he puts it over very strongly. He's very clear. He's very um, precise in what he wants to do. But I'm trying to really weigh up, you know, the substance behind him as well. I'm looking forward to, you know, to, to the debate, so that could be, the, you know, the final decider. Blackpool North and Cleveland is Tory target seat number 79. They've got to win here if they're going to pull off a feat they haven't managed since 1979 and seize power from a Labour government. A new addition to the campaign are the leaders' debates. Personally, I'm a bit old-fashioned about these things. I worry about the reduction of politics to celebrity or the fact they seem to me to be another attempt to kind of crowbar presidential politics into a parliamentary system with all the dysfunctional consequences that usually implies. Nonetheless, all over this town, people are going to be tuning into those debates, and here they could make a real difference. As well as running this gem of a B&B, &B, Delwyn and Sylvia are accomplished ballroom dancers. <laughs> Keeping with the ballroom theme, we want to score their answers to each question, a la Strictly. First election debate. Posting there, so Cameron's sort of man of destiny face there. I'm here to persuade you that there is an alternative. I know what this job involves. I look forward to putting my plan to you this evening. But we need change, and it's that change that I want to help to lead. There's a thing my dad used to say, you could uh, decide what sort of a person was. Are they a vicar or a bookie? Brown? As a result of the measures we've taken. Vicar, yeah, vicar. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cameron? Wide boy, yeah. He's a bookie. Yeah. <laughs> First impressions of Nick Clegg, what do you think? I quite like him, actually. We're not catching enough burglars, we're not convicting enough, and then we do, when we do convict them, uh, they're not getting long enough. Thank sentences. you. Ah, thank you. 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 That murderer could be out of prison in just four and a half yeah. years. Dis That's exactly what you were Disgusting. talking about Disgusting. Disgusting. He's got 25 to life in the States. I'm not saying there seems to be a crisis of crime, and yet on burglary and car crime, for example, the figures have come way down. Right. Yeah. We're a safer yeah. place than we were. Yeah. But you don't yeah. think it feels like that? All these stabbing and shooting crimes in London and the, biggest, and the big cities. I think that's the worst. That's, that's the, the big concern, yeah. concern, yeah. To face their victims, explain why they've done what they've done to their victims, apologise what they've done. Take what do you think of that? <laughs> and I know how angry I was when I heard about the moats and the duck houses and the rest of it, and I was determined to do my bit to clean it up. Four. An eight for coming. Six billion pounds out of the economy means lost jobs, it means lost businesses, it means lost growth. If you take that money out now, I Nine for gone. I'm quite surprised at myself that I'm warm into this now. You see, you get a bit annoyed, annoyed when they're in the House of Parliament and they're firing questions at each other. And it gets too personal. It gets too... Yes, I think it does. They're all shouting and raving at the back, you know, and they don't really listen to what they're saying, and then they get a little bit abusive with each other. I, think, I don't think that's necessary. 
David will not give you the guarantee that you'll see a cancer specialist in two weeks or the guarantee you'll have a GP in the evenings at weekends. These are personal guarantees David written Cameron, into the NHS constitution that the, we will give. You know, the number of managers is going up five times faster than the number of nurses in our NHS. We say stop that national insurance rise and instead spend the money on a cancer drugs fund so people can get the drugs they need. This is a phony debate. I mean, I'm beginning to get a bit lost here about where, the, where these various pots of money are going well, to go. That's the notes I've just made. What did he say? Uh, too, too many promises, but where is the money coming right. from? The like-for-like like replacement of the Cold War nuclear missile system, the Trident missile system, over the next 25 years. It'll cost you, all of us, £100 billion. Pounds. We can't what do you think of that? Trident? Time to get rid of it. Every time we've got to make these big I think it's more than time. I know many of you think that all politicians are just the same. I hope I've tried to show you that that just isn't true. Uh, and I know we're not up against uh, the X Factor or Britain's Got Talent. Or Strictly Come Dancing. <laughs> <laughs> we have got to make a decision now about how we secure the recovery this year. Choose hope over fear. Because we have incredibly exciting and optimistic plans about for the future of our country. At the end of an historic moment in television and political history, a very good night to you. Good night. How did that compare to the presidential debates that you, you saw when you were in the state? I thought it compared very favourably. Yeah, I, I was very impressed tonight with it. They should have them more often so that people can listen to them individually like this. You switched your vote in 79. After watching the debate, how do you feel about switching your vote in 2010? I'm not uh, totally convinced at this stage. It's easy to make promises when you're not in government. Sylvia, you said of Margaret Thatcher that you admired a strong, decisive, knew-what-she-wants kind of leadership. Do you see any sign of that in David Cameron? I do. I think he wants to do it. Whether a Conservative government will solve the problems, I really don't know. At the end, Delwyn and Sylvia's scores put Gordon Brown narrowly ahead of David Cameron, with Nick Clegg in third place. That was mostly down to his low score on crime. And let's not forget that Blackpool North and Cleveland's is a close Labour Tory marginal. But in his own modest way, the Lib Dem leader might have made a real breakthrough tonight. I think you can well, a lot of credit. That's why we'd, you know, yeah. we'd, we yeah. don't hear much of them. No. No. Well, we've been talking again about Labour or Conservative. Well, you might, might be minded in the right circumstance now to think about the Liberal Democrats. There's a possibility, there's a possibility, but um, don't quote me on that.